Hello everyone and welcome to Open Music tutorial number three. Today we're going to talk about how to make a harmonic series using Open Music. It's really easy, very cool too. So, in case you're not sure what it means to calculate a harmonic series, um, let me just get started from the beginning um, in terms of just what the concept is. Uh, what we need to do, first of all, is we need to come up with a frequency because uh, when you calculate a harmonic series, you don't want to do that using MIDI values because uh, that isn't going to work. Uh, so, of course, um, everyone knows uh, by memory that A uh, above middle C is 440, but you don't always want to calculate a harmonic series starting from A just because that's an easy number to come up with. So there's a tool in open music that allows you to figure out what any note um, frequency is and uh, you could do this for example you could type note if you don't want to even come up with the MIDI value and you could press M to C double click and we'll just pick a frequency let's go with a nice low C there you can already see here that it's 3600. That's the MIDI cent value. Um, so what we need to do is we need to figure out what that translates to in terms of frequency. So what you could do is use this object called uh, MC2F. So MIDI cent to frequency. And you'll just take the second outlet, which is where the MIDI value come out of, and you can, if you evaluate it, so we'll select it, press V, you can see the frequency come out right here. So you could just leave that alone. You don't have to even worry about that number. If you wanted to copy that number, you could start with the number. Yeah, let's do that. We'll copy it. Double click. Oops. Paste it. Okay, so this is our starting point. Okay, now we could just use this outlet but we'll just start with the frequency value and then what we need to do what we basically want to do is we want to calculate uh, different uh, multiplications of this so we want to take this value we want to multiply it uh, times I suppose itself to get a fundamental pitch uh, I'm sorry not times itself times one uh, or in other words leave it alone or then we're gonna multiply it times two then times three then times four and however uh, much we want the, uh, oh, the harmonic series to go on. So we could do that, for example, not very efficiently, but we could certainly do it like this. We could have a multiply object. We could have a bunch of them. Let's say we do multiply by two, right? And then we take it again, copy it, and just option click. Oops, that was not what I was trying to do. Here we go. I'll just do one just first, just so we can have our example. I can't seem to click option drive with my trackpad. Okay. And we can change this to three, this to four. And then what we could do is have the optical X append, which allows us to combine different single values into a larger list and then we can shift uh, do greater than and add two more inlets and we could combine the initial frequency and then have our second frequency times two times three times four so this is very laborious as you can see and this is only going to give us the first four pitches. So you can already see that you're probably not going to want to do this, um, but I'm still going to finish it just to show you what we're dealing with. And then we could have a chord object to read our values. We'll go into the second inlet where the MIDI values are. I just pressed M to visualize, and then when we evaluate it, oh, I'm sorry, I did something, I missed an important step, very important step. 
which is, remember, MIDI values go in here. What I did, my mistake was now I, I threw in frequencies. So that's not going to work. It's going to give me all these extremely low values. So what I need to do first is I need to, I need to reconvert it back. So I need to, have to use the opposite object of this. Um, so I have frequency to MIDI sense. And now... We get our MIDI values in there, and there are there is. Now this is going to show as a chord, but I could do this thing called order. We might have seen that before. Now we have our values like this. So there's our first four pitches of the harmonic series. Um, we'll talk about approximation a little later. Um, so anyway, as you can see, this is going to give us what we need, except if we want it, let's say, to have. 15, 20, or maybe even 30 pitches in our harmonic series, this would be a nightmare to do one by one by one. So there's a much easier way to do it. And the way to do that is to use this other object called arithmetic series. And what this will do, this is part of these set of objects here. In the series, there's geometric series, Fibonacci series, and harmonic prime, so on and so forth. So what this object does very quickly and easily is it allows you to come up with a numeric series on uh, an ascending numeric series. And the, the first inlet here is your starting point. So this will start from zero. If you hover over it, you'll see the uh, value that is um, preset. The second one is the arrival point, And the third inlet is actually the step, meaning in this case, it'll have a series of numbers going from zero to 10. Uh, including, uh, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. If I had put number 2, then we would skip every other number. So we don't really need 0, so let's just start from 1. So we'll change that number. I don't have to do this. I don't have to combine this box, uh, connect this box. I could just change the value, but I usually like to see what, I, what I'm working with, so I don't have to keep hovering over. So let's say we want the first 15 pitches, Connect the box that says 15, and we'll leave this one alone, because well, actually, let's let's leave it alone, but let's type it in a box. I want to show you what else you could do with this. That's very interesting. Um, then we need an OM multiply, and what we'll do is we'll connect the frequency to the left inlet and the harmonic series, uh, the number series. Uh, before we do that, let's take a look at what this looks like. If I evaluate, sorry, let's put this in the right place. Let's see if this works. Oh, there it is. Okay, so when I evaluate the arithmetic series, as I was saying, we get numbers from 1 through 15. So what I can do now is simply connect this whole list to the right inlet and when I do when I evaluate that I get this number times one times two times three times four so it's a lot faster it's a lot more efficient and um, then I can just put this through my converter so it'll take all these frequencies convert them back to MIDI cent values and evaluate that and then when I open this box I now have a rather large list okay <clears throat> now, what's going to happen when you're dealing with frequencies is that most of the pitches are actually not going to be um, uh, tempered. In other words, if you look at this, you know, for, for something to be uh, exactly uh, uh, tuned to the tempered scale, to the equal tempered scale, every, every number would have to be a multiple of 100. So this one works. This one works because it's just times two. And then already here, you see that it starts to move away from that. Uh, th this one again, obviously, because it's just um, the initial frequency, two octaves higher. And then there's another one. So they start to, st to move away. And um, so th here you'll see, uh, even though, for example, here, this isn't um, exactly an E, 
in as, as how we usually think of an E, the open music is still showing it to us as an E, and that's because we the approximation we're using is to the nearest uh, quarter tone. So if I chose something like this, you would see that a lot of pitches now are not they don't have all these all these different symbols to show that are a little bit sharp and so the further up you go here the more detail you will get but of course this might be less and less useful if you're going to have an, a piano play this for example you might want to actually do this okay so this remember doesn't affect the actual value of the pitch it only affects how you see it and how you hear it in open music and that's important too because you might want to go a step further and actually uh, filter these values and uh, scale them to the nearest quarter tone at, even in terms of their MIDI value that way you could they won't create problems if you if you were to do transpositions and things like that uh, I can show you how to do that too um, anyway so there we go uh, one other thing you could do, which is very interesting, is you can change the the multiplier here. And you could have it go, let's say, 1.5. So that means that our series now is multiples of 1.5. So 1, 2.5, uh, 4, 5.5. So now you get what we call a distorted harmonic series. So this is now a different kind of, well, maybe we could listen to the first one. Let's go back to one. Let's take a listen. It's going to play it as a chord if I do this. So. Cool. So remember, I'm using MIDI share now. So this is actually not playing quarter tones and I, even if it was playing quarter tones, I, I it wouldn't hear them because of this. If, if I wanted to hear the quarter tones, uh, if that was what I was looking for, I would have to change this and also use microplayer. I'm not going to bother with that now. Um, so you're not actually hearing exactly how it should be. Uh, but if I do this, if I change this to 1.5, I now get quite a different sound. Right, not nearly as effective. Well, maybe I'll just open this. What the heck? We have a few minutes. Okay, let's try now. Oops. All right. much more interesting um all right that's actually um pretty much all we'll have time for let me do something very quickly let's say that you have um you wanted to actually scale these values um, round them off to the nearest uh, half step uh, what you could do i'll type this up very quickly let's say that i have a resulting pitch that is six let's say it's close to 6,000, but not quite, maybe 610. Uh, what you could do is you could use this object called OM round. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to divide this number times, uh, and this will depend on the type of approximation that you want. Let's say that I wanted to the nearest half step. So I divide this number by 100. and then I round it and then I multiply it by a hundred again so if you look at the listener I started with six hundred six thousand and ten and when I round it using this system here It'll round it to the nearest, to the nearest uh, 
um, half step. So let's say that I have, let's try another one, 137 or 57, 37, there. There you go, 7100. So this is a little helpful um, thing. So you could filter, if you wanted to, all of these values through this. Uh, you would have to use uh, another object called OM loop, which we can look at another time. Um, all right, so that's it for today.